Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 12 of Book 4, and in this proposition we are going to draw a pentagon that is equal angular and equal lateral on the outside of a circle such that the pentagon sides touch the circle. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is to draw a pentagon on the inside of the circle using the methods described in the previous proposition. So now our inner pentagon touches our circle at these five points. The next step is to draw lines such that they touch the circle at each one of these five points. So we will draw five separate lines touching the circle at each of these points. We are going to take these intersection points and label them and connect the dots and we now have a pentagon that is on the outside of our circle. This pentagon is equilateral, equal angular, and it touches our circle on each of its five sides. So how do we prove that this pentagon is what we say it is? Well, first thing we do is we create the point F, which is the center of the circle, or find the point F, and we draw lines from FB, FK, and FC. Now FC is a radius, and KL touches the line, so by definition, this angle here is a right angle triangle, or this angle here is right angle, and this angle here is also a right angle using the same arguments. And now let's look at these two triangles. They are both right angle triangles. And if they are both right angle triangles, they follow Pythagoras' theorem, which for those of you who have forgotten, is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in other words, fk is c, so we have fk squared is equal to fc squared, fb squared, plus bk squared, and kc squared. So looking at these two formulas, we have this is equal. Now fc and fb are both radius of the same circle, so they are equal in length. So this is equal, which implies or gives us that kc squared equals bk squared, or in other words, bk is equal to bc. So we have bk is equal to kc. This length is equal to that length. Now we're going to look at the angles inside of these two triangles. We have shown that, well, these two lines are equal because of the radius of the same circle. We've proven that these two lines are equal, and of course this line is common. So we have two triangles that have three sides are equal. So by Proposition 8 of Book 1, these two triangles are equal in all respects. In other words, the angles are also equal. So this angle is equal to that angle, and this angle is equal to that angle. Now we can do the same thing with these two triangles, the same arguments, and we can show that this angle is equal to this angle and CL is equal to DL. So we've just proven the same things on this side. Now let's look at alpha and epsilon. We have a circumference BC that is equal to the circumference CD. Now, because of the way we constructed the inner pentagon, we know that these two arcs are equal in length. And if we have two circumferences that are equal in length, then the angles creating those arcs are also equal. So in other words, alpha and epsilon are also equal. So we have epsilon is equal to alpha. Now let's look at these two triangles. Now they have one side that is equal, and they have two angles that are equal. 
we have epsilon is equal to epsilon is equal to alpha, and we have two right angles here, so we have two angles that are equal plus a common side. So we have two angles, so angle side angle. This means that the triangles are equal. So in other words, the, the length KL or KC is equal to CL. So these two lines are equal. KC equals CL. Or if we just want to keep this for future reference, KL is equal to twice KC. Similarly, it can be shown using the same methods, using these triangles over here, and we can show that HK is equal to KL. What I mean by this is we had KC is equal to, excuse me, we have that KL is equal to twice KC. However, KC is equal to BK, so it's equal to two times BK. And using the methods that we've just used here, we can show that HB is equal to BK. So in other words, if HB and BK are equal, this would be HK. So we've just shown that KL is equal to HK. We can do the same logic for all five sides, which will show us that this pentagon is equilateral. So now we've shown that the pentagon is equilateral, and we have to show now that it is also equal angular. So going back to these two triangles, they've been proven to be equal. So the angles here, delta and delta, are equal. We've shown that these two triangles are also equal. So theta and theta are also equal. We have shown that these two triangles are equal. So delta is equal to theta. So we had delta is equal to theta, and theta is equal to theta on this side. So this angle here is twice theta. This angle here is twice delta. And since if this angle is twice delta, this angle is twice theta, delta and theta are equal, then these two angles will be equal. In other words, using the same logic for the rest of the sides of the pentagon, we have shown that the pentagon is equal angular. So thus we have shown that this pentagon is equilateral, equal angular, and since we've drawn it in such a way that it touches the circle at each side, it also touches the circle at each side. And there you have the methods required to draw a pentagon on the outside of a circle, equilateral, equal angular. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.